Hello everyone, this is Varsha and you are watching the series of success stories brought to you by Indian Achievers Forum. So once again, we are here with you all to discuss the success story of one more achiever of ours and this time we have with us Mr. Vibhash Kar, who is a director in Energy, Utilities and Resources Group of PwC India, having more than 22 years of experience in the field of renewable energy. Experience includes policy and regulatory advisory, strategy advisory, project and program management consultancy, techno-economic project feasibility studies, transactions advisory and development sector program management. In the present role at PwC, he is responsible for business development, internal compliances, project planning, resource planning and execution of the projects. His clientele includes central and straight ministries or departments, think tanks, corporates, multilateral and bilateral agencies and PSUs. He has worked in India, Bhutan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Germany, Cameroon, Uganda, the Netherlands, Maldives, Malaysia, Bangladesh, Denmark and Jamaica. Vibhashkar is an executive committee member of Confederation of Biomass Energy Industries of India and also the recipient of award as one of the 100 most powerful and influential solar sector leader in 2021 by Solar Quarter. But before we actually start the conversation with him, let's quickly have a look at a very small video telling you about what we actually do. Indian Achievers Forum is driven by a full-fledged advisory board. The board consists of experienced personalities who have excelled in their respective careers. Together, the forum organizes conferences, events, workshops, exhibitions, trade shows and B2B initiatives in India as well as abroad. Where there is passion, there is achievement. And where there is achievement, there is Indian Achievers Forum. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank you. All good, sir. Thank you so very much. Uh, so before we actually start the conversation, I'm very keen to know that how did you actually land up to the idea of, you know, choosing this particular profession for yourself? So, Varsha, back then, you know, I passed out in the year 1999. And that was the time when everybody was, was actually... Uh, so uh, th there was a time uh, between 1999 onwards for a couple of years, uh, or rather a decade, when everybody was learning Java and you know shifting to the United States. Most in most cases, and most of my pair <clears throat> from that era was actually working in uh, in the in the IT and uh, you know software hardware technology field. But I was uh, not very keen, so I wanted to do something very different, and. Uh, I found this course, which was uh, which was around renewable energy, a two years course in, in Allahabad, and I ended up taking admission there. And because I studied renewable, I got my first job into renewable. So I continued in the same sector, in different roles with different companies. Uh, so it's been last you know 22 years uh, into the clean energy sector in industries and in consulting, and I've worked across sectors. If you look at you know, the sectors of uh, renewable energy sources like solar, wind, hydro, biomass. So across sectors I have worked and it continued. So I would not say that there was any specific reason to choose for, uh, you know, to go for the clean energy sector, but I think uh, it just happened. I opted for it uh, uh, after, during my college days, but then after that continued in the same sector because I studied that and I did not think ever to you know change it and now if you look at uh, going forward it's all about if you talk about power it's largely about clean energy sources so that's how you know uh, i have remained in the same uh, right so, so you know every sector or every industry have their own pros and cons so talking about your journey so far uh, what sort of challenges you have to face in it while you know growing so sector when see when i started the sector was very small and there were not many opportunities and it was you know slowly and slowly people were 
entering into the sector there were companies entering into the sector and we had some you know uh, good business i mean there was a visibility of good business at least in the future so the challenges if you look at there were not many opportunities for someone like me to grow professionally back then when i started so uh, so initial one decade i would say between 2000 to 2010 it was going slow but 2010 onwards it really picked up the pace and now if you look at there are opportunities more in clean energy sector if you look at across power sector than any other sector within that power sector domain so challenges is that this is this is a sector which is growing this this is a check sector which is seeing lot of changes very fast i mean it, it's very dynamic in the nature uh, so uh, you know these challenges of what will happen next is the biggest challenge and where the disruption disruption is going to happen in the clean energy sector so any company like one company will come out with one statement that this is the new area like green hydrogen so this is the new area entire sector's focus will move towards green hydrogen so you as a consultant i mean me as a consultant or my team for that matter as a consultant we have to continuously evolve innovate to remain relevant in the sector. so this i think not only just a, just a challenge but uh, an opportunity also it's a continuous learning uh, of new technologies that are coming within the clean energy sector so this has been quite a bit of challenge you know to to keep uh, yourself updated all the time and uh, look for newer opportunities within that sector which is so dynamic as i said so i would say these are the few challenges uh, that i have faced across 20 Now, twenty years, but uh, you know more than those challenges, they actually turned out as opportunities for us, for our own growth and uh, for the sector. Right, sir. So now, talking about your current organization, uh, what sort of you know product and services it is you know offering to the people out there? So, see, I work with Price Waterhouse Coopers. We we call PwC, and I've been working as director now, uh, leading a team, and. Uh, Uh, the entire focus has been only renewable so i have a very dedicated focus team that works only on renewable energy in terms of my services or in terms of so we don't have as such products because we are a consulting company and we are part of uh, within pwc we are part of uh, a large advisory practice within advisory practice we are part of energy practice so energy and utilities is the main group umbrella group and within that we have clean energy uh, practice or we can say sub spu and within clean energy practice also there are energy efficiency guys and there are renewable energy guys. so i lead that renewable energy practice within the clean energy umbrella and we provide pretty much every type of service in the domain so uh, we work with private sector we work with government sector we work with multilateral and bilateral sector uh, which is you know into the development area in terms of our services we offer you know right from concept to commissioning on the project basis we offer uh, policy and regulatory support to the government of india and you know state governments we run their large programs which are largely mainly supported by uh, multilateral or pilots so these are multi year technical assistance programs so we are, we run those technical assistance program we also take care of the line of credit that is coming through bilateral and multilateral agencies into the sector and uh, you know uh, so we as a technical assistant consultant we continue we have been supporting uh, you know uh, these line of credits to find the uh, taker of that line of credit through the financial institution so yeah so these are the main services apart from that we have also worked on several projects which you know uh, one or two i would like to uh, you know mention you know uh, government of india has this ambitious plan of 100 gigawatt solar initially the solar mission came out it came out with a mission with a target of 20 gigawatt but in between 2014 15 and 16 during that period this was revised to a much larger target of 100 gigawatt and we were fortunate you know to be working with ministry of new and renewable energy two years on that particular program so we drafted all those schemes uh the financial support schemes the solar park scheme within that pro- within that two year of retainership with mnri so this is this this is also this turned out as one of the uh, marquee project for us two years drafting what uh, country would achieve in solar and uh, you know I, i today i feel really very proud that we were working on that project and now 
we are seeing that solar sector growing and solar sector reaching to those states we we developed a solar park scheme uh, within that uh, two years of span that is the 100 gigawatt and that has been the most successful scheme ever in in solar so uh, you know these are the kind of services i just quoted a project that we offer amazing sir so now you know moving ahead and talking about the future uh, what are those mountain tops that you want to achieve in the upcoming years so if you can please share a few of your plans with us so in terms of my professional journey it has been fantastic i would say and you know and i think uh, the way sector is growing the way we have been working building up the team i would have that uh, growth path also within pwc you know so as such my own personal targets uh, is just you know to make it big to make it uh, you know a much larger business than what we have today and also with that growing business i also you know foresee that i'll i'll also continue to grow so not really as such a very ambitious something but yes with the growth of the sector with the growth of the business i think i i have grown in this firm and i'll continue to right sir and i wish you all the success for whatever plans you will be having in the upcoming years right so now uh, moving ahead sir so as you know that this year india would be celebrating the 75th year of independence which is famously known as azadi ka amrit mahotsav so uh, what do you have to say on this as in how far we have come and what is your vision pertaining to acha i think this is the time when uh, we are all those who come from the energy sector are looking looking for changes we are all and supported by the government of india's mission pradhan mantri narendra modi's vision of shifting our entire power generation towards the renewable energy sources so large part of it he has already committed in cop 26 that by 2030 india will have close to 500 gigawatt generation capacity which is solely on the renewable so in the 75th year of our independence i think this is one of the best thing that has happened and this is what we will achieve going forward that we will have more non polluting uh, sources of energy although we uh, at the international uh, arena if we look at we are still very far from the european and uh, you know america or rather i would say the developed world in terms of uh, in terms of emissions uh, we are very small but still we have taken this target that we will reduce further and by 2070 as uh, as prime minister said that we will be a net zero country so in the uh, in that sense please in this 75th year this commitment and for us to work on that comment, uh, commitment for rest of our career you know to achieve net zero for the country is something which is uh, which is really amazing uh, you know to work on these uh, these targets aligning it with the vision of uh, vision of government of india and you know achieving it also. so we are on that path of achieving slowly and slowly you know the transitions toward the clean and energy so on this uh, and this has happened this has been happening but now these commitments coming uh, on the 75th year of uh, our independence is, is actually uh, really fantastic great sir so now uh, you know though i know that it always a very wonderful feeling when we get recognitions for our work still i would love to know from you that uh, what are your feelings on winning this man of excellence award now this was uh, you know but this was second award in this year so i really felt very good i mean i was also uh, selected as one of the top 100 solar sector leaders uh, of this india and after that uh, achievers award from uh, from your side it was a fantastic feeling and this feeling i mean uh, i got a lot of recognition within firm also because this is award which has come from the outside so outsider agencies have also recognized that i have uh, i have done some good work and have achieved this uh, this is i mean i would say it's a wonderful feeling to to have right sir and i once again congratulate you on this achievement of yours thanks right so now as we have discussed a lot about your professional journey and also the future plans that you might have so uh, tell us a bit about your social contribution to as in the csr activities that you are involved in so what's on that you know within that professional uh, work that we do within those projects there was a fantastic project so uh, you know i'll tell you from the beginning i've been associated with the access to energy projects uh, for last uh, from my first job itself and that access to energy project was for us it's a project but when we deliver it that benefit goes 
to the people who do who did not have access to electricity so an access to electricity or access to clean energy is something uh, i would say is fundamental for anyone's growth so i have run those projects consistently for last 20 22 years and i still run it that i can consider as uh, you know uh, and that i considered uh, uh, you know to continue to operate in that arena for two angles so i was getting for the firm i was also uh, you know been able to make money but that was not the money that you can make from the corporate world or from the from the government sector the sector does not pay much to the consultants but it gives us a lot of satisfaction when we see that these projects have come up on the ground and now villages are electrified through these mini grid projects or villages have got access to uh, to small cold storage systems to you know to to put their vegetables so that vegetable uh, have you know uh, much more life than otherwise uh, with the, in the absence of cold storage it would have had so these are the projects i would say are you know have social angle and uh, uh, we have been continuously working on those projects i'll quote just one example there was a line of credit which was supported by kfw which is a german bilateral agency and that line of credit was only for the access to energy project and i have operated that line uh, at ireda which is the indian renewable energy development agency so this line was given to ireda and we as a technical assistant consultant we have been working on that line for four years and i'm very happy to say that entire line of 150 crore for these smaller projects have been dispersed right so these projects have come up these projects will come up those you know who have been sanctioned very recently and uh, will provide electricity and required you know uh, electricity not only for the household but also for the commercial operations at a very very remote village level those villages which are yet to be connected properly or yet to receive proper quality electricity from the grid so these are the projects i would say uh, you know those who have some social angle and have benefited people uh, th- through our efforts i'm really happy about those projects. so this is what i have contributed towards social wonderful sir all your team members are doing a great job i must say so now uh, before concluding our lovely session uh, what message or mantra you would like to give to our new generation to become successful in their careers there's only one mantra you have to work see the opportunity for the newer generation are plenty and i'll talk about the clean energy sector plenty of opportunities but there is one thing which i have seen is the lack of content in the field so you the, these all these people have access to good education uh, those who are you know uh, getting into these colleges coming out as mba grads or coming out as engineer grads they are all they all have good degrees where they lack is on the contents and i have uh, i've been telling to uh, you know to my team member i've been telling this to to all those people who have been associated with me have been taking career advice or career guidance from me there is one thing that everyone else everyone has to focus is on the only on the content because we all have same degrees you know more or less same qualification but we can create value when we are different from the others on the knowledge and that's where you know that's my mantra to uh, to the people of the renewable generation to focus on the content work on the content and if you are confident on your knowledge then you know uh, you have a good career path you have a good growth path very very rightly said sir so uh, thank you so very much for joining with us today sir it was lovely talking to you and uh, i wish you all the success for all your future endeavors as well and may you continue to inspire us the way you are doing thank you so very much for joining with us thank you varsha it was nice talking